Solo Sokoa destroys Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes on his WWE WrestleMania 39 match against Roman Reigns. Major flaw in the Seth Rollins and Logan Paul segment on Raw. Logan Paul confirms which night he is facing Seth Rollins at WWE WrestleMania 39. WWE's current plan for Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania 39 horrible. Fox unlikely to renew WWE SmackDown contract. Jey Uso hasn't betrayed Sami Zayn it was a plan. Let's jump right into it. Cody Rhodes on his WWE WrestleMania 39 match against Roman Reigns. Cody Rhodes believes his WWE WrestleMania 39 showdown with Roman Reigns will headline one of the biggest wrestling events ever. Rhodes won the 2023 Men's Royal Rumble match to earn a spot in the WrestleMania 39 main event. He will challenge Reigns for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood, California, on April 1-2. In an interview with Sportskeeter Wrestling's Kevin Kellam, the American Nightmare joked about repeatedly saying the phrase Rhodes to WrestleMania to promote the show. I'm saying that pun regularly, Rhodes said. You do these little international bites and TV bites. Hey, we're on the road, we're on the roads to WrestleMania, so I've overused the pun myself just because, hey, I don't know how many times I'll be in this position heading into the biggest sports entertainment, the biggest wrestling event, literally ever, just looking at the current metrics. The biggest event ever done that involves a wrestling ring. I don't know how often it'll be like this, so I'm punning away. WWE superstars from Raw and SmackDown entertain fans at dozens of untelevised live events per year. Cody Rhodes is currently scheduled to face Finn Balor at a show in Springfield, Illinois, on Sunday, March 19th. The 37-year-old is looking forward to appearing in front of another live crowd shortly before his big WrestleMania match. What I always say is TV, whether it's Monday Night Raw or Friday Night SmackDown, it's almost this really wonderful, beautiful commercial for the match that you might see at a live event, and even with cell phones and all that these days, the live event experience is still very intimate. Things happen that are just for those communities and for those markets and specific moments. Rhodes also spoke about a conversation he plans to have with a WWE legend a day before competing at WrestleMania. Do you think Roman Reigns should lose the undisputed WWE Universal Championship to Cody Rhodes? Let us know in the comments section below. Major flaw in the Seth Rollins and Logan Paul segment on Raw. Wrestling veteran Vince Russo has weighed in on the Seth Rollins and Logan Paul confrontation on this week's episode of Monday Night Raw. The two stars became rivals after the Maverick eliminated the Visionary from the 2023 Men's Royal Rumble match. At Elimination Chamber, the social media megastar cost the latter the United States title by attacking him during the Chamber match and allowing Austin Theory to emerge victorious. They had a face-to-face -face meeting on the red brand this week that turned physical. Speaking on the latest edition of Sportskeeter Wrestling's Legion of Raw, Vince Russo stated that it didn't make sense that Seth Rollins, the babyface, was knocked out after insulting the heel, Logan Paul. He thinks that WWE should have done it the other way around. So the babyface Rollins tells Logan Paul you're the scum of the earth, coward, troll, fraud, human dumpster fire. And then the heel knocks the babyface out cold after saying that. What? Isn't the heel supposed to be saying that and then the babyface is supposed to knock him out cold? What is going on? Said Russo. On Raw this week, it was confirmed that the two stars will collide for the first time at the Showcase of the Immortals. Logan has only lost once in WWE, and it was against Roman Reigns at Crown Jewel last year. He's very impressive in the ring and is a mainstream star. However, since he's the heel and Seth Rollins is the babyface, it could make sense for the visionary to win the bout. It remains to be seen how the match will go down at the grandest stage of them all. Do you think Logan will defeat Seth Rollins at WrestleMania? Sound off in the comments below. Logan Paul confirms which night he is facing Seth Rollins at WWE WrestleMania 39. Logan Paul has announced which night of WWE WrestleMania 39 his match against Seth Rollins will go down. The rivalry between Seth and Logan all started during the Men's Royal Rumble match in January. The 27-year-old shockingly sent the visionary over the top rope for the elimination and Seth hasn't been able to let it go. After taking a couple of shots at Logan in the media, the popular YouTuber responded at WWE Elimination Chamber. Logan attacked Rollins at the premium live event and cost him an opportunity at the United States Championship. He got the better of Rollins again last night on Raw by knocking him out with a punch after accepting his challenge for WrestleMania. Speaking on his impulsive podcast, he said that the match will take place on his birthday, April 1st, during night one of WrestleMania 39. It's official. He's been beefing with me. WrestleMania, April 1st, in Los Angeles, on my birthday. Crazy, right, said Logan Paul. Logan Paul recently stated that he did not know who Seth Rollins was before he got into the professional wrestling business, but he is happy that he's facing him at WrestleMania. During the latest edition of Impulsive, Logan Paul admitted that he was unaware of who the visionary was until recently, but is very aware of who he is now. Logan expressed that Seth is one of the top three talents in the business. He added that it is an honor to face him at WrestleMania 39 in Los Angeles. I know who he is now. I will say this, he's very good at what he does. 
he's probably top three in the business right now. For that reason, it'd be an honor to take him on at WrestleMania. I'm really happy with this matchup, added Logan. Logan Paul made his in-ring debut last year during night one of WWE WrestleMania 38 in a tag team with The Miz. It is remarkable how quickly he has been able to adapt to the wrestling business and become a viable WWE superstar. Only time will tell if the odds are correct, and he hands Rollins a massive loss at WrestleMania 39. Do you think Logan will defeat Seth Rollins at WWE WrestleMania? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. WWE's current plan for Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania 39 Horrible Bobby Lashley defeated Brock Lesnar at Elimination Chamber after the Beast Incarnate got himself disqualified when he couldn't break the herd lock. Though fans expected another match between the two behemoths at WrestleMania 39, the company had different plans. Though not officially announced, Lashley will likely be facing Bray Wyatt at the show. Bray Wyatt started targeting Lashley after Elimination Chamber, making it clear that he is coming for the former WWE Champion. Unlike Wyatt's previous opponents, Lashley Ashley is not perturbed by Wyatt's peculiar behavior. However, there is arguably a major flaw in the storyline. As per Dave Meltzer of Wrestling Observer Radio, Lashley facing Wyatt at WrestleMania is probably not a good thing for him. He also stated that the storyline is like a death sentence for Lashley. He also said that Lashley killing Uncle Howdy on SmackDown after months of building up that character makes no sense. And then Bobby just smeared Uncle Howdy. Like he was just a nobody. Yeah, he sure did. Yeah, no, this doesn't make any sense at all. No, this storyline. Well, yes, this, this, this storyline SCKS. And it's also, it's also like, you know, kind of like death. You know what I mean, said Meltzer. It has been reported that Brock Lesnar was the original opponent for Bray Wyatt for WrestleMania 39. However, Lesnar refused to face the former Universal Champion because he did not want to get involved in a supernatural angle. Unfortunately, the Almighty had to take the fall after Lesnar refused. Meltzer noted that WWE's plan is problematic for Bobby Lashley, but he's got to wrestle Bray Wyatt at WrestleMania. Well, yeah, that's, that's probably not, that's probably not a good thing. While Bobby Lashley has not sold the supernatural angle, there is a worry that Lashley will suffer a loss of credibility if he falls victim to Wyatt's out-of-ordinary tactics. Lesnar's reasons for not wanting to face Wyatt could also apply to Lashley as well because his real-life tough guy image might get hampered. Fox unlikely to renew WWE SmackDown contract. WWE is entering an incredibly important time in the promotion's history as media rights fees are up for negotiation. However, recent reports suggest that the SmackDown brand may not be getting renewed by Fox at an increased fee. SmackDown currently airs on Fox Network, but television rights are up for negotiations this year for broadcasts starting September 2024. Vince McMahon returned to the company in January and was unanimously elected as executive chairman of the board. Many felt that the former CEO's return was to help with upcoming media rights negotiations, but that may not turn out to be case. Wrestling Inc. S. David Bike since been noted a recent screenshot posted by Forbes Media Assistant Managing Editor and Forbes Sports Money Managing Editor and co-host Mike Ozanian. The screenshot originated from a presentation by Wells Fargo Securities Analysts about WWE's upcoming negotiations. Mike Ozanian noted that Wells Fargo Securities does not believe Fox will be willing to do a new deal at an increased rate over the current $205 million a year. He suggested that the network may want to split SmackDown with a streaming partner, or the blue brand could leave its current spot on Fox. Wells Fargo Securities thinks Fox is not likely to renew SmackDown at higher price and it's possible we could see SmackDown split between Fox and Linear, and a streamer, or the entire night move off and likely a credit to FOXA. WWE US, Rights Deal Economics, tweeted Forbes Mike Ozanian. Former CEO Vince McMahon stepped away from the company in July 2022 due to misconduct allegations but was not away for too long. Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter recently stated that McMahon's involvement in media rights negotiations was seen as a hindrance to some, and he stands to make the most money if a deal goes through. At this stage of the game, the belief is that McMahon's presence is a hindrance and not a help in these negotiations, although as the largest stockholder, he is also the key beneficiary financially if and when the sale goes down and for that reason forced his way into that process, said Dave Meltzer. Since Vince McMahon's departure as creative head, Triple H has taken charge as the chief content officer. The game has done a significant significant job in that regard, as WWE aims to make WrestleMania 39 one of the biggest in its history. Jey Uso hasn't betrayed Sami Zayn, it was a plan. WWE fans have spotted an interesting detail in Jey Uso's ruthless attack on Sami Zayn on last night's Raw. The main event of Raw saw Sami Zayn beating Jimmy Uso in singles competition. Following the contest, Jay hinted at an alliance with Sammy, only to betray him moments later and attack him with a kick to the head. The Bloodline then launched a ruthless attack on Zayn that was thwarted by Cody Rhodes, who came out to make the save. Soon after, a fan shared a video of Jay Uso's attack on Zayn and pointed out an interesting detail. 
The Twitter user wrote that Jay hugged the master strategist and whispered something in his ear before attacking. This could hint that he is still on Zane's side and is waiting for the perfect opportunity to turn on Reigns and the bloodline. Several WWE fans responded to the tweet, and the general consensus was that Jay was still on Zane's side. It took a while for Zane to gain Jay's trust, but he finally succeeded when he helped the bloodline win at Survivor Series War Game. That night, the bloodline celebrated their big victory to end the show, and the right-hand man hugged Zane in a moment for the ages. At WWE Royal Rumble 2023, when Zayn refused to join the bloodline in attacking a helpless Kevin Owens, he was kicked out of the group. Jay simply headed backstage instead of joining his family and attacking the master strategist. On Raw, things took a sudden turn when Jay attacked Zayn after making him believe he was his friend. Or was it a ploy orchestrated by Jay, and he is still secretly on Zayn's side? Only time will tell. What do you think? Is Jay Uso still on Sammy's side and has only attacked him to gain Reigns trust? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Solo Sokoa destroys Roman Reigns Roman Reigns is the top dog in WWE and a match against him could elevate any star to the main event level. With a recent report stating that Solo Sokoa is being protected to face the bloodline leader down the line, fans have been more excited than ever. Solo Sokoa has been portrayed as a dominant force since making his main roster debut. The 29-year-old has yet to lose a match via pinfall or submission. His only two losses since moving up to the main roster have been due to DQ, with the most recent one coming on this week's Raw, where he was defeated by Kevin Owens after Jimmy Uso interfered in the match. According to Dave Meltzer of Wrestling Observer Radio, the reason WWE has been booking Sokoa so strongly is because they want him to face Roman Reigns in the future. The report caused a huge uproar among fans, with many taking to Twitter to share their excitement about seeing the two Bloodline members collide down the line. The aforementioned report was followed by another from Wrestling News Co. stating that Triple H and WWE management are very high on the former NXT star and that he could be a main eventer after WrestleMania 39. Roman Reigns will perhaps face the toughest challenge of his title reign at WrestleMania 39 as he takes on Cody Rhodes for both world titles. The American Nightmare has been undefeated since returning to the company last year and is more determined than anyone to usurp the Tribal Chief. According to the latest betting odds, the former AEW star is the heavy favorite to finally end the Bloodline Leaders era. The duo came face to face on SmackDown last week where Roman Reigns mentioned Cody's father Dusty Rhodes. However, Cody Rhodes seemed unfazed by the head of the table's mind games. The two stars shook hands to end the segment. What do you think will go down at WrestleMania 39? Sound off below and let us know. Creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing